with the changes made in CFA in the last year and candidates can actually appear or rather start preparing for CFA immediately post grade 12. You can even finish level 2 in your undergraduation which was not the case. And because of this new eligibility of CFA, there has been a question mark in students who at an early age or earlier very sure that if I wanted to do study something, CMA or ACCA or CA are the only ones I can do after 12. CFA comes towards the end of my graduation. But now, what should one do? Because after 12th, you can actually start preparing for any of these qualifications. So in this video, we are going to find out CFA versus or with CMA. By the end of this video, we'll hopefully not only clarify the differences and the similarities between these with opportunities in India or overseas, but more importantly, how should you take the final call? So point number one, what is the primary difference between CFA and CMA? Well, CFA is a core finance qualification. We made obviously a detailed video on it. If you've not seen it, please have a look at it. It's all to do with finance and investment management. It teaches you about the markets, whether it's the stock market, whether it's the debt market, whether it's the currency market. It teaches you portfolio management, which means you can actually help individuals or companies make good strategic decisions with respect to which assets to invest in. And it's relatively a very popular program. CMA is about management accounting. Now, again, I made a detailed video and I have this example. I love explaining people on Google that if you start up a company like Google from the bottom in finance, how do you go to the top? Well, you collect information of Google search, Google drive, Google maps, Gmail, YouTube, and you try to make sense of how do you increase price, increase margin, reduce cost, you know, strategize and decision making should be such that each of these advances and in turn Google as a whole advances and these thoughts are what CMAs really can thrive with. So both are quite different with respect to what they want to do. And if this decision is not clear, then hopefully the next few points should make it a little better for you. When it comes to the academic structure, CFA has three levels, 10 subjects each, all the 10 are the same subjects as you can see on the screen. The only thing is that in level one, earlier, easier subjects like quantitative methods, economics, financial statement analysis, and ethics are uh, tested more. But as you move to level three, obviously inverses and of derivatives, portfolio management, equity side of testing is higher. So this gives you a nice segue into becoming a master in finance. It takes on an average two to three years to complete. And yeah, that's, I think the major thing that you would need to know from the academic side. When it comes to CMA, as you can see on the screen, there are two parts. Finance one is about accounts. Best part about CMA is that it takes you less than a year if you go quick to complete CMA. So you're relatively free quite early, right? You have time to do other things. Also CFA, while you can start studying after 12, you can give it from your second year of BCom, whereas CMA, you can give as soon as your grade 12 is over, which means if you're above your second year, then it doesn't matter which course you take because you can actually give both of them. Finally, when it comes to the actual scope of both, right? What is the opportunity? Well, CFA by default, I would say, if you complete the entire three levels and you become what we call a CFA charter holder, which is the, you finish all the three levels plus demonstrate work experience. It's a complete membership of a CFA. It means you have experience, you've shown value in, in your experience in finance. CFA is obviously more popular. So CFA becomes a choice where a level three charter holder can get paid 18 lakhs, 24 lakhs, 30 lakhs at a relatively younger age. Of course, it depends on the company and what your experience has been, but charter holders have the ability to make that kind of money. CMAs, the good part about CMAs, you start, like I said, very early. You actually are in a position that some companies, if you have completed both parts in the exam. And I, I don't know if you all know, but if you've seen the other videos, you need two years of experience in CMA. If you do that, you can start with a five, six, seven lakh package. And then obviously it compounds and grows based on your performance. So there's a chance that when you're 25, when you're 30, if you started CFA, CMA by the age of 18, 19, then at 25 or 30, both qualifications, you would be making a decent chunk, maybe here and there a little bit based on your profile, your company, but both have immense opportunity. When it comes to going overseas, both of these are US-based qualifications. Both have massive recognition in the market. So I think internationally, either you don't have a problem. Also, if you combine CFA with MBA, there is again a higher recognition because many companies who seek out MBAs love the fact that CFA supports or vice versa. 
first and foremost i'm always encouraging people that not sure what to do right trying to do everything makes a lot of sense just don't do it for the sake of collecting degrees it should be that you start one take a few steps work and understand that okay fine how do you get the next jump and what do you need to study to make the next jump rather than if you collect all the degrees up front and hope that this collection will get you to a great career so what would i recommend if you are confused between the two my first suggestion would be take up cma because it's a relatively shorter program finish it in a year if you can or lesser and then spend energies in studying for cfa while working you can even finish cma both parts cfa level 1 that entirety can take you 2 years max and then you finish level 2 and level 3 of cfa while working i think that combo is great not sure if you need to do both for the sake of it but yes if you are 17 or 18 or more than anything if you are ambitious and aspirational and you are looking at this video you can aim for both the total investment in cost cfa would be around 3 to 4 lakhs cma would be less than 2 lakhs the total cost would be 5 to 6 lakhs combined definitely worth it for getting these two global qualifications which have value here in india and overseas so i hope that gives you clarity if i've missed anything please feel free to leave it in the comments and as always subscribe if this is the first time you're visiting the channel give us a thumbs up if this is a video you found value in Thank you.